So I'm getting them out of the Cirafuge and they just look like this and there's a button down at the bottom. So what we're gonna do is we're going to put the cell part on top. So when you decant it, they don't go all the way out. Okay, so we still have some in there. So we're gonna do the saline again, adding three quarters of the way up. Shake them around a little bit, make sure it's dislodged and put them back in to the Cirafuge for 15 seconds and do it all over again. So this is my second wash, doing the same thing. And gonna add some more. And I'm gonna do the same thing again, shake them up. And we're gonna put them back in. This is my last one. And then decanting all the way, you're gonna get paper towel and get the liquid out, okay? Okay, now we're going to add the um, one drop of the AHG Poly Specific Anti-IgG and C3D um, so that this is the AHG reagent and um, I'm going to add one drop in each. That's the DU and this is the D. So we have already um, incubated the cells. We've washed the um, We've washed any unbound antibody away. So if there is any antibody there, um, the AHG reagent um, will bind to it and cause a reaction. So I'm gonna put these into the Cirafuge and spin it again for 15 seconds. So I just took the tubes out after spinning them for 15 seconds and adding the reagent, we're going to shake them again, see if there is a reaction. It looks like there is no reaction, no clumps, and it is kind of cloudy, so that means it's not, it's not hemolysis. If it was red and completely clear through, then that would mean hemolysis. And we will mark that down as a negative reaction again. So, so far we've had a negative reaction on every single phase, the immediate spin, the 37, and the AHG. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add check cells because if, um, if we add check cells and then we spin, uh, spin them down and there is a reaction, then that means that the AHG um, reagent was added because there would be bound antibody to the um, RBCs. If there is no reaction, then that means that we uh, didn't add the reagent um, and possibly um, some other things too. So I mixed up my... Um, we might have not washed the cells or the um, antibodies away is what I mean. Um, so I mixed up my reagent. I'm gonna add a drop of each of those into each of those. And then we're gonna spin them for 15 seconds. These are the check cells. Okay, they're also known as Coombs Control. And see it's IgG coded whoo, pooled RBCs. So that means if the reagent still is